Thank you for watching this video about the creation of the basic import stock file. In this video, we will show you how with Seller Express you can download, edit, and re import your stock. Here we are logged into Seller Express. The first thing you need to do is click Reports on the left hand bar. Once the report screen has loaded, select Stock Import File from the Select Reports drop down. On the Select Supplier drop down, select All Suppliers. You can narrow this down and select from just one supplier if you like. The report will take a few minutes to generate, and once it is done, simply click on the report to download it. When we open the spreadsheet, you will see your stock listed. Along the top you will see multiple columns, each of these linked to a field within the product page of Seller Express. I won't go into any more detail on these, as you'll have worked with them in the past on the product page. Something that is very important to note is that the format of this sheet cannot be changed. This is how Seller Express understands what information to import and what information not to import. You cannot add and remove columns. If you take a look at our barcode column, you'll notice that these barcodes appear to have become corrupted. This is something that will happen whenever you open one of our stock import files in Excel or another spreadsheet program. Don't worry, your barcode is still there and it can be made to display. To do this, right click on the column and go to Format Cells. Once Format Cells is loaded, select Number, set the decimal places to zero and hit OK. You'll notice our barcodes are now there. Please make sure to do this before saving, otherwise Seller Express will reject your file. Now, what we'll do is we'll make a couple of edits to then import into Seller Express. Finally, something we would recommend doing is putting something in the final column of the file. This is just so Seller Express knows where your information comes to an end. If you don't plan to use the location column, just use a one or a full stop. Now, with our edits made, it is time to save the file. To do this, select File and then Save As. It is important that we save our file as a CSV file, for this is the type of file that Seller Express can read. You can name the file whatever you want. Now, back in Seller Express, click Inventory, then Import Products on the left hand side. Once your Import Products screen has loaded, make sure to select Basic from the Select Import Type. Then, browse for your file. You will notice there are a collection of import options available to you. There is a more detailed explanation of these options in the help file linked on screen now. Have we read at those to make sure that you are selecting the correct options. Once you are sure you have selected the right ones, click import and your file will be imported. Importing your file can take between 20 and 30 minutes so don't panic that your products haven't changed immediately. You will receive an email once your products have been imported, confirming which products have been imported successfully and if there have been any rejections. Now, thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, please refer to our help file on the basic import stock file, or get in touch with our support team. If you are interested in signing up to Seller Express, please visit www.sellerexpress.com.